In this lesson, we are going to cover parameter sets in WinCC Unified. Parameter sets are recipes in the Unified system. In preparation for this lesson, I did create a parameter set screen, and I did include a push button on the main screen that will allow us to navigate to the parameter sets screen. I'm going to go over to the Libraries tab. In the Project Library, we're going to add in a new HMI user data type. So I'm going to select HMI user data type and make sure I've got a unified panel selected. I will give my data type a name, recipe rec type, and select OK. This HMI user data type is going to be used to define the structure of the elements for our recipe record. When you are working with types in the project library, when you are done with your changes, you will need to release your version or if you are unhappy with the changes that you made, you can discard those changes. I do need to select the communications driver type for the HMI data type. We are going to be using internal tags for this lesson, so I'm going to use the internal communication. But if I were to use another PLC, I would select that type of communication that I would be using. I'm going to select Add New. The first element is going to be called val underscore one. And I'm going to use the data type integer for this first element. Select Add New. And I'm going to have another element called val underscore two. And it is also going to be the integer data type. So I'm going to have two elements within my recipe. So I am satisfied with my HMI user data type. So I'm going to select Release the version. In this dialog box here, I want to make sure that I select the Delete Unused Type Versions. And you can see right now my recipe record type is in work, so it's still in process. When, once I select OK, it will no longer be in work. Next, I'm going to go into the project tree underneath HMI tags. And I'm going to open up the HMI demo tags tag table. I'm going to add in a new element. It's going to be called recipe tags. For the connection type for this one, because I'm going to be using internal tags, I am going to select internal tag. For my data type, I will select the recipe rec type. That is the HMI user data type that we just created. Now I get a little triangle by my recipe tags tab. When I expand this out, I can see the two individual elements from the recipe rec HMI user data type. So I'm going to float this window. And I'm going to open up the parameter set screen. And what I want to do is I just want to use the drag and drop features and assign the individual elements to the I.O. fields on the screen from the recipe tags tag. So I'm going to select the val1, just do a drag and drop on the first I.O. field for value 1. I will select val2, drag and drop onto value 2. And I will close out this dialog box. When I look at the properties for the I.O. field, it automatically, when I did the drag and drop, assigned the individual element to each I.O. field. So here's value 2. Next, I am going to insert the parameter set control, which is found in the toolbox underneath controls. I will make the control just a little bit wider. And I will make it just a little bit taller. There is a header area and a close button. So what I'm going to do is go down into the appearance area and I'm going to locate window settings. And I'm going to select none. That will turn off that header area on the control. So then there's more room for the recipe data. Next, I am going to go into the project tree and I'm going to locate parameter set types and expand that out. 
When I expand out the parameter set types, I do have an option that allows me to add in a new parameter set type. So I will do that. For the name, I'm going to call it recipes. For the data type, this is where I have to pick the HMI user data type. So I will pick the recipe rec type and accept it. Then I would select a tag of my recipe rec type. So I highlight my HMI demo tags and here is my recipe tags tag. So I will select that. Go down to information and for the storage medium, if I select this drop down, this is where I can pick and choose where my recipes are going to be stored on the device, on the SD card, USB stick, or on the internal memory. So I'm just going to select internal so it will be stored on the internal memory of the HMI. I'm going to save my project. Highlight my HMI and start the simulation. I'm going to go down to the runtime values and uncheck keep current user administration data and select load. I'm going to start my Chrome browser, log into the runtime simulation, select my admin user, enter in the password HMI12345 and sign in. I will select the parameter set screen. In the parameter set control, the first thing I would need to do is select my parameter set type. You can have multiple parameter set types that you can work with. We just created one in this lesson called recipes, so I will select recipes. For the parameter set, this is where you would select existing records from the parameter set to either download or you can upload data you know, from the controller. So I'm going to select new. And I'm going to give it a parameter set name. I'm going to call it min and select OK. So right now my values are zero. So I'm going to select new again. I'm going to create another one called max. Select OK. For my values here, I'm going to enter in 100 and 99. So I will press the save button to save my data record. And now the function bar or toolbar here allows me to download or upload. I can export or import. I can also delete recipes, rename, or do save as. So I will just select the download button. So this will download the, the two element values, 199. So when I select the download button, it downloaded 199 into the controller. Say, for example, I wanted to change this value inside the PLC. I'll type in 88. And if I wanted to update the max recipe with this new value, I could select the Upload button. And then I can choose, do I want to overwrite the selected parameter set or create a new parameter set? I'll just select Overwrite and select Read. So now that brought in the value of 88. And I could save this as a new recipe if I wanted to. So in the drop down, I could select different recipe sets and then download those into the controller, etc. In this lesson, we covered parameter sets in the WinCC Unified System.